Hello and welcome to Office Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build a custom post type portfolio and how to build custom taxonomies for that portfolio post type and how to build a single page for that post type uh, in your theme. Uh, so we will build a child theme for the current parent theme and how to build custom fields within that portfolio post type. So we will need some free plugins. First of all, uh, let me show you what theme I am using right now. I'm using Astra theme and it's updated. Uh, now we will need a plugin to build a child theme. So uh, click on plugins and add new and uh, search for child theme configurator. Click in the search bar and type child theme configurator and press enter. Install child theme configurator. Activate the plugin and now we will be able to build a new child theme for our parent theme which is Astra. Now go to settings, uh, tools and go to child themes. Now here create a new child theme and choose your parent theme which is Astra right now. Click on analyze and leave all other settings, uh, primary style sheets, okay, 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 okay. And click on create new child theme. Okay, now click on appearance and then themes. And let's see if our child theme is configured. Okay, yes it is. Activate the child theme. Now that our child theme is active and ready to use, go to plugins and deactivate the child theme configurator because uh, we do not need this anymore. Okay, now uh, we will build a custom post type uh, which is portfolio and then a custom taxonomy uh, which will be a portfolio category or portfolio cat. So for that we will need a plugin called custom post type custom post type UI. Press enter. A plugin by web dev solution uh, web dev studio click on install now. We will also need advanced custom field by WP engine. So click on install now as well because we will need some custom fields along with custom post type and custom taxonomy. The custom post type and custom taxonomy will be handled by this plugin custom post UI. But the custom fields such as project date, project year or any extra images will be handled by advanced custom fields uh, and ACF in short. So. Uh, once both of these plugins are installed, uh, activate both of them uh, by going to plugins. But let's wait to install this one. Now that both plugins are installed, click on install plugin and activate both of them by uh, selecting bulk plugins and activate them. This is advanced custom fields and scroll down to the custom post type UI and bulk activate and click on apply and both of them will be activated. So custom fields is uh, because of advanced custom fields plugin and CPT UI is advanced custom post type UI. So first of all let's build a custom post type which is portfolio. So click on CPT UI and add a post type add or edit a post type type in the name portfolio plural will be portfolios singular name will be portfolio you can add a description the menu name let's type the menu name portfolio and you can choose all these things you can uh, use singular names you can use search name the uh, the search found name the parent name, featured image, and all these things. So uh, I'll leave all these things empty for now uh, as as the default. So public, yes, true. Publicly curable, yes. CP, uh, show UI, yes. 
show in REST API. So REST API is the most important thing these days because we are building um, apps and websites alongside. So uh, in most cases, we, we need the REST API uh, endpoints and uh, these post type must be populated into the REST API results. So uh, we will leave this as true because we want to show them in the REST API. You can use a custom REST API controller class or API base slug, but uh, I'll leave them default. Has archive, yes. Post type archive URL, yes. You will have an archive URL. Uh, archive means the category URL or the taxonomy URL. So hierarchy uh, false can export true. We write true. Okay, let's leave all other things. So supports title, editor, featured image. Okay, uh, we will need custom fields as well. So page attributes, no post formats, no comments, yes. Uh, or just uh, leave the comments uh, turned off because we do not need uh, comments on the portfolios. Turn on the revisions in case we make a mistake by editing any of the portfolio item. Then we have the revisions and we can um, call them back uh, if we make a mistake. So taxonomies, category, tags, portfolio cats. Okay, this portfolio cat uh, is already built in the uh, taxonomy section, but we will make a new one. So for now, just add a post type and come to edit post type and you will see our portfolio is already there. Okay, now let's come to add or edit taxonomies. As you saw, we already have this portfolio cat uh, built here. So we will name the taxonomy. We will add uh, on which post type we should show it or we should uh, manage it. Uh, if you see here, we already have the portfolio menu but there is no portfolio category or something else. This portfolio is because uh, we already added a custom post type here. So it appears here. Now, if we add a taxonomy and we assign the portfolio post type here and we save the taxonomy, then if we hover over this portfolio, you can see that portfolio cats is already in the child of this menu, which means that uh, this portfolio will share this taxonomy or will use this taxonomy with this portfolio so we already have the custom post type and the custom taxonomy now we will build some custom fields uh, such as um, image gallery or the project date or the um, author or the designation or anything uh, any other custom field this is just an idea to show you how you can do this so in custom fields click on add new Currently, if you click on portfolio, add new and open in a new tab, then you will see we have just um, some basic fields like title, description, the, the tags, portfolio cat, this portfolio category, featured image, and that's all. So we need to add the project date, uh, if, if where the portfolio is the project is built in 2019 we will mention that date so let's name it portfolio fields first field will be text label will be year the project year field name is year default value nothing and let's add another field this field will be uh, an image or anything you want. This will be an extra image. Uh, we already have a featured image here, but we want to add an extra image. So a return format will be image URL or image ID or image array, whatever you want. But in this case, we will need an image URL. Library all, upload it to post. Okay, save changes. So. If you refresh this add new page, then you will see that uh, the new fields will be populated somewhere here. 
you can see it's portfolio cat title but no portfolio uh, image or year so let's come to the fields again and we forgot to mention the post type so the rules will be post type equals to portfolio and click on save changes and now these fields will be added to uh, the portfolio post type okay we forgot to mention the label extra image you can name it anything you want but this is just for testing purpose so that is why i used extra image text now when you save this field you can refresh the add new page and uh, you will see the extra fields uh, below the title and the description so here are the default ones the portfolio category you can type here uh, like mm, building or anything by pressing comma on your keyboard will uh, separate these categories and these are acting like tags so building construction or let's remove construction and use capital C mm -hmm. title will be new building at See how about this is a custom post type description for this post and can be loaded on the single portfolio page. Okay, now let's scroll down and set a featured image. Let's upload a file. Set as featured image. This would be the main featured image. And now let's come to the custom fields. Here will be 2019. And add an extra image. Let's choose the one which is already in the gallery. So click on publish now. Now if you open this portfolio on the front end, then you will see that only the basic fields uh, the title and the descriptions are shown here but uh, no image no extra image no year uh, they are not shown at all so this thing this is the single dot php the default single dot php file uh, which cannot be editable you can edit this but uh, that will be uh, also edited for the normal single page which we do not want we want to create a new custom page for just the portfolio post type and those fields will be listed here so for this purpose we created a child theme you can see we added a new child theme which is called Astra child so first of all go to theme editor I would not recommend the theme editor and if you have the the FTP so you can use the filezilla to transfer the files to the directly to the server but I'm using the theme editor just to show you and give you an idea. So I have the folder access. Let's go to ramp sgdoc and the folder is WordPress test. So go to the WordPress test folder and go to the themes, Astra child. Okay, here you can see we do not have any single page. First of all, we will add a single page from the parent Astra theme. So copy the single, but we will not change the single.php. We will name it as single portfolio. So let's edit the file name and after single type dash portfolio. So this second name must match to the uh, name of the post type which is portfolio this okay you can directly copy this and add it to the section here the file name and 
remember to add single dash portfolio to this uh, i think i misspelled the portfolio in the main uh, in the main post type so that is why uh, i copied this and added to this single post.php single portfolio.php okay now if we refresh this page then you cannot tell the difference because uh, all the things are sim same as the single.php so open this single portfolio.php uh, in an editor i'm using dreamweaver so it's it will be loaded in the dreamweaver code now for checking purpose let's just add a single character or a single word we are on portfolio page or single page okay let's refresh it we are on the single portfolio page okay uh, we are on the same template here let's check another post which is hello world and see if we have this word no we do not have this word so it means that the template the this code will only be used for the single portfolio post type okay now let's move this and let's add the custom fields which we added the year and the extra image so uh, we also do not have the thumbnail so Let's get the post thumbnail first. In the primary ID, let's add an image or let's add get, get the post thumbnail and save it. Let's see if we are getting the post thumbnail, which is the default thumbnail for this post type, which we added here this one and we have the secondary image here let's see the name of this image go to the CPT uh, sorry custom fields and choose the portfolio fields group and let's see what's the name okay, it's an ex the extra image so copy the name of this extra image and go to the main page now uh, let's add the extra image below the contents echo get field get field is the key for the function for uh, getting the custom field and paste that key here get field extra image so the URL of the image will be listed below the contents this one now let's wrap up the this uh, key within an image tag so img src would be this and width will be 100 percent it is not recommended to use percentage in the width is it is just an example to show you so if you refresh the page then the actual image will be here okay now we have the year so uh, year would be like here or here somewhere let's add uh, two new fields new field will be the supervisor save changes refresh the edit page and let's type the supervisor name which would be me so let's type my name so hey Ahmed update and now go to the single template and let's add two more values above the extra image so let's add a span by the name of supervisor and get field supervisor which is the key close the span open a new span we 
which will be here get field here and close the span let's add a space here as well let's refresh the page to see if the values are coming okay supervisor and gear uh, we forgot to echo the feeds so click here echo and click here echo as well save and refresh and we have supervisor Suhail Ahmed and year 2019 uh, we can add a line break so differentiating these two values you can style them whatever you want but this is just an example to show you how you, how you can list these custom fields on the single portfolio page so here uh, this is a customized page now for the portfolio post type if you go to the normal post which is hello world then you can see there are just comments and some contents some categories and uh, title all the default things but if you go to uh, the custom post type portfolio and this is the featured image this is a title by admin the author uh, and the date the description the custom fields and another custom fields which is image so this was all for today's video i hope you learned something so uh, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future updates uh, I post um, similar contents regarding ACF, custom fields, custom post types, contact forms and many more. So uh, please subscribe and stay with us. Thank you.